This is an inverter welding machine with all the components on one PCB. I turn on the device completely without connecting the circuit to the city power. In fact, I want to completely turn on the circuit with the help of the power supply of the workbench and with a voltage of 30 volts and check the different parts. In the following, we will check the waveform input to the drive transformer and IGBTs. If we know the different parts of a circuit, we can better understand how the circuit works. For this purpose, I will explain briefly how it works. The voltage of city electricity first enters the PTC and reaches the diode bridge. PTC is parallel to a relay. This component prevents the sudden influx of current into the circuit. After the bridge diode, the voltage is converted to 310 volts and reaches the capacitors. These capacitors are in parallel. There is also a polyester capacitor in parallel with a primary capacitor. The positive and negative voltage reach the collector and emitter of these IGBTs. This circuit is half bridge. The input of the transformer has two end, but the output is three end, which reaches the output Schottky diodes. The middle pin is regarded as the negative output voltage. The voltage that reaches the collector and emitter of the IGBTs does nothing for now until the pulses reach the gate of the IGBTs. How are pulses created? The pulses are generated by the control card. In some device, the control card is located on the main PCB. The pulses created by ICSG3525 are amplified by two double MOSFETs and reach the drive transformer. The drive transformer turns on the IGBTs and causes the voltage storage in the main capacitors to be discharged in the transformer. The magnetic field created in the transformer causes the voltage on the secondary side. According to the dimension of the ferrite core and the number of wire loops, a certain voltage is produced in the secondary section, which produces a high current of about 200 amperes. But from which part does the control card get the voltage necessary to turn on? This voltage is created by a switching IC and this chopper. The voltage after rectification reaches the drain pin of this IC. This IC is LNK626. This IC receives the startup voltage from the drain pin to turn on, so it does not need a startup resistor. For this reason, we can turn on the device with a power supply of the workbench. The voltage generated by this transformer is used to turn on the control card and turn on the relay and fan. When the relay turns on, the PTC in the input circuit is bypassed and full current will flow into the capacitors. Now, how to turn on the circuit? We set the power supply of the workbench to 10 volts. If we connect this voltage to the input of the bridge diode, we do not need to determine the positive and negative direction. But after the bridge diode, we must observe the positive and negative directions. I connect the multimeter to the circuit input. I connect the power supply of the workbench. I will increase the voltage. Pay attention to the multimeter. When the voltage reaches 28 volts, the circuit turns on. The reason for the circuit to be fully turned on is that by starting this IC and creating the necessary voltage, the control card is turned on and switching begins. If there is an IC in your circuit that has a start of resistor to turn on, you must reduce the value of the resistor. Of course, you must calculate its value with ohm low. For example, if instead of 300 volts, 30 volts enter the circuit and the value of the start of resistance is 300 kilo ohms, you should replace a 30 kilo ohms resistor. Of course, this is only an example. Remember to replace the original resistor after repairing the circuit so that the circuit is not damaged when connected to the city power. This noise is related to the transformer and does not cause any problems. I measure the output voltage.
It is about 5 volt, which is almost correct with a voltage value in thread. This shows that all the parts are working properly. Now we will examine the waveforms together. I connect the oscilloscope probes to the pulse transformer input pins. I connect the alligator clip to the negative metal body of the regulator. This body has 0 volts, the same negative. This regulator is used to supply the voltage of the display and the required voltage of the volume of the current determination. Waveforms are seen. Every IGBT has a driver circuit, include diode, capacitor, and two resistors. This diode helps the IGBT turn off faster. We can see the IGBT gate waveform from this resistor. The same waveform can also be seen on pin 3 and 5 of the control card. Now, I want to practically check the temperature control circuit. I connect an NTC with a value of 5 kilo ohms to the temperature control pin. If I hit this sensor, it causes IC SG3525 to turn off and the pulses are interrupted. Look at the oscilloscope. Well, the pulses stopped. When this thermistor is activated, the negative voltage reaches pin number 8 of the IC and causes the pulses to stop. Pin 8 is the same as soft start. When we change the current setting volume in front of the device, the changes reach the op-amp and the output of the op-amp changes the voltage that reaches pin 9 of IC SG3525 with the help of several transistors. This change in voltage causes a change in the duty cycle and the output current of the device changes. This device uses two components to determine the output current. CT transformer to determine the initial current of the circuit and shunt resistance to determine the current at the output of the circuit. The information of these two pieces has reached the control card and the device adjusts the current at the output with the help of this information. Thank you for watching the video.